You know, it's uh, it's going to be a fun, fun matchup. I think uh, you know, no matter who wins the series, you got two great softball teams playing against each other, and uh, you know, it's great for the fans, great for the support, great for our league. Uh, just our our approach mainly is just you know, do what we do. You know, go out and, and be who we are. And uh, you know, one of our approaches has always been that you know we we take is that whoever we play, you know, it doesn't matter what their team name is or what their ranking is or how many wins they have. You know, we just got to go out and play our brand of softball. And with that comes, um, you know, comes a lot of cool things and just focus on ourselves and really just do what we do. You guys are very similar in that you have dominant pitching staff, good hitting. What are you expecting when you came to this tournament? Pitching duels or is this what you think you're um, I, I really have a hard time not thinking that there's going to be pitching duels when you've got the ERAs as low as they are. And, you know, uh, when I can look on paper on LSU, they haven't given up a whole lot of extra base hits. And, uh, their outfield is really fast, so they, they, they limit you know extra base opportunities. So I think uh, you know I, it's hard for me not to say this is going to be a pitching duel, and uh, you know whoever can get to three runs first has got a good chance to win. How does it sit like going to California, facing a level of competition out there, help you prepare for the SEC schedule? Um, I think there's a lot of similarities to what we you know we were able to do when you go out and play the competition that we went out and played, and you face the the teams and the matchups and the number of pitchers that we faced and the number of different defenses and different approaches that teams are going to have against our pitching staff. So it definitely prepares you. you know, we were down a little bit. We were up a little bit. We um, you know, had tight games, uh, had some big wins, had some big moments. A lot of players had different moments and opportunities. So I thought from that standpoint, it was really good to kind of get a major test for a, a lot of games for a lot of different players on our team. Do you feel the younger players are up to the challenge for, of the SEC schedule now? Yeah. You know, I think it, that's the biggest key is – you know, not really trying to change or do anything different. You know, you're facing LSU. Um, it's no different than facing, you know, what our lineup can do, you know, in, in inner squads and stuff. And I think that's the, the, that's the good thing about good teams is you practice against good teams all the time. You play against good teams all the time. Uh, we, we don't want to try to do anything different. I mean, I don't, just because LSU's undefeated and we're undefeated, we're not trying to go out there and, and change, wholesale change what we do as a team. We're just going to try to continue to do what we do and hopefully do what we do a little bit better. When LSU can throw out four pitches out, uh, pitches out there during yeah. the series, um, what kind of challenges that, do you think that presents to your lineup? It's a lot of challenges in preparation. You know, if you can easily break each one of the pitchers down, each one of them a little bit different. So you got to go in there with, uh, with the right mindset of how can you prepare, who do you prepare for, what do you prepare for, and uh, we're preparing. We're preparing for every pitch that somebody could throw at you. And um, from there, we're trying to really concentrate on each one of our hitters' strengths and get them really good at what they do well and not really worry about, you know, what, what the other team does. Um, you know, I, the key is, you know, we got to swing strikes. Swing strikes, and uh, we, be, we become a lot better team. Uh, we swing at balls, and we become very, very normal. I know LSU has some hitters hitting over 400. So what are you expecting from your pitching staff in this series? Yeah, you know, pitching staff and defense has to do a good job and, uh, you know, really limit uh, extra outs in innings. they got some good speed. And, um, and, you know, the key is we gotta, we got to go three outs. We can't give them four outs. We can't give them five outs uh, in an inning. They're, they're a team that's going to capitalize on mistakes. they got speed. they got power. Very well-balanced, uh, very balanced lineup. And then next week, though, we're two undefeated teams coming in. That's obviously something you've got to get. Uh, does any mental approach change because of that, that factor? Um, you know, I, I think more than anything going into it, it would be the post. How does – who reacts the best to, um, you know, tight game? Who reacts best to a loss? I think that's the key is you know, when you have two undefeated teams, you don't know how your team's going to respond, uh, you know, to losing. And so I think the best way to find that out is don't lose. Go out and win. So. <laughs> Uh, Lauren Hager is closing in on that career home run record that Megan Burke has. What's it been like to watch her throughout these years? It's been fun. You know, she's just consistent. You know, we, she and I have never even talked about it. Um, it's not something that Megan and I talked about. It. It's not something Francesca and I talked about. You know, as you start to approach that thing, you just try to get them equipped with the uh, with their strengths and try to get them equipped to do what they do well. And you know, Lauren's a home run hitter who's now hitting for a little bit higher average and also taking walks and doing little things that are going to help boost her. You know, to be consistent, and she's a marked person on everybody's um, you know, scouting report. Good hitter, and uh, fortunately, we've surrounded her with some good hitters and help her you know, help her get better pitches. Did you ever expect to be this good when you were recruiting her out of Arizona? Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, yeah, we, she's a first round draft pick. If she's a baseball player, she's you know she's taking one of the top ten picks in the draft. Uh, she can pitch, she can hit, she can run for her size. She's athletic. Um, she's very. I mean, I, I honestly did. I mean, she's the she's she's probably. I don't know about the number of home runs, but she's she's done everything that we've expected uh, her to do. Um, and I'm not saying she's done anything less. I'm not saying she's done anything more. 
I, I really expect a lot of great things out of what I saw out of her at a young